Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. Hope you're having a good time with your family and friends and liking these sessions. In today's lab on Azure, I'm here to show you how you can connect your customized data with Azure OpenAI services so that you can retrieve this information and make use of it in easy to understand in human readable form. In order to achieve these lab, I'm going to follow the steps as you can see listed on the screen. We will start with creating a resource group with the name AIRG and all the other components will be part of this resource group. We're going to create an open AI instance followed by cognitive search. Then we're going to create a blob storage in which we're going to create a container and upload our customized data. Then we're going to go to the open AI studio, which will create a deployment, basically a model and then see how we can interact with our uh, customized data. Followed by, we're also going to create a web application and integrate that with the chatbot and see then how we can utilize this for interaction of uh, this customized data in our environment. So with this, let me flip over to the Azure portal and you can see I'm logged in with my owner credential. Let's start with the first step, which is to create a resource group. Now we're going to search for Azure OpenAI service and let's click on the create button. And for all this deployment, I'm going to use the East US2 location. Pricing tier will be standard. And for this labs, we're going to keep it from access from all the network, but that's the beauty of utilizing these Azure resources that you can only give access from selected network to keep it highly secure. But for this lab, I'm going to take all the default and let's click on create. Open AI service was deployed successfully. I can go to resource. And you can see that I get the endpoint. So with this, let's move to step number three, which is to create a cognitive search. I'm not going to scale the service, but if you want, if you're dealing with vast amount of data, you can always scale the service and build redundancy also. For endpoint, I'm going to keep it public and let's go and create this. also successful like I can go to resources and I can see that it's up and running the pricing tier is standard in my case and the region of deployment is East US2. Now let's go and create the storage account where we're going to upload our custom data. I'm going to keep the redundancy to least because this is just for testing purposes and to take all the other defaults.
Let's go under the resources and under data storage, I'm going to create a container. And in this container, I'm going to upload my file. And this file is basically generally available. If you want, I will share the link in the description of this video. It is Indian tourism statistics data for the year 2022. Let's go open it up and let's go and upload. So the data was uploaded successfully. So that's great. So we have done all the steps now. Now, let me go and search for Azure OpenAI service. This is the service that we created. If I go and expand this, you see we have uh, the option of uh, deploying the model from here. So it will basically open a new interface for me, which is uh, with the URL oai.azure.com. And in this, we are going to under management, create a new deployment. And for this, we are going to use the model GPT-35 Turbo. Feel free to give the name and let's go and click on create. For some reason, I got the error. Let me just try one more time. All right. I've seen this error happening because there are certain services which are still in the preview state. Let me just try to change the model here to GBD35 Turbo 16K. Okay, so this service seems to be not working. I'm not sure the reason for this, but let me give a try one more time. Name and you can see that the uh, deployment was successful. So that is great. So now after this deployment, we're going to go under playground and go to chat. And uh, as he said that integration of your data or customized data is still in preview. So certain things are going to change, but let's go and now add our data source. So in this case, we are going to pick up blob storage because that is where our data is lying. And uh, in my case, the name of my storage account is my blob 505. So let's pick that. And the name of the container is C505. my search service which is my cs505 and uh, for the index name i'm going to name it and for the index schedule i'm going to just keep it once but if you want you can run it on a, on a schedule if you want and uh, let's add the vector search also Actually, for this demonstration, let me just keep it simple and let's acknowledge that I am connecting to an Azure Cognitive Search account and let's go and click on next. All right, so you can see that the data is getting added. So it's going to take a minute or so. So let me just pause the video in the meantime. The data has been appeared over here. So you can see uh, that uh, it seems to be working fine. And actually you can go and cross check. So if I go back to my portal and go under the cognitive search 
And this is the search service that we created. And underneath that, we have the search management, basically the indexes. And uh, it has the document count, so it means it seems to be working fine. So that's good. Now, actually, now the testing phase is going to come. But just want to show you uh, here you can interact with your data if you want. But you can always change the configuration. You can change the parameter. You can change the maximum response if you want, right? You can set the limit of numbers of tokens per model response. You can also change the temperature, like you can control the randomness, and or you can also uh, change the top P line, very similar to the temperature, the control randomness, but use the difference method. So all these parameters, you have this option of tweaking it. But let's go now and interact with this custom data. Let me type in hello. And it is uh, responding. Yes, how can I assist you? Uh, now this document which have uh, I have loaded is to do with Indian tourism. Let's see what's the responses. So yeah, it is uh, providing me information. Now let me go a step further. I'm going to type which month is best. Okay, let me to visit India. Let's see, it can give me some response based on the data that we have uploaded. All right, so okay, so the best time to visit India depends upon the region, which makes sense. For North India, it is saying October to March. And for Southern India, also it is saying November to Feb. So depending upon what region, obviously, and it's gathering all that information from the data that we have uploaded. So that's great. So that's how you're going to integrate. But now let's go a step further. And you can see right from the interface over here of Azure AI Studio, I can deploy a new web app or you can also have a new Power Virtual Agent bot. But let me, in my case, I'm going to deploy a new web application. Now, if you have an existing one, you can also update that. But in my case, I don't have any new, uh, any existing web application. So let's create one from the scratch. Pick your subscription. Resource group going to be same, which is AIRG, and my location going to be the East US2. And for the pricing tier, let me just keep it simple. I'm just going to keep it basic B1 for this testing purpose. And let's go and click on the deploy button. And you can see over here, it says that it's going to take some time. So we'll give just 10 minutes. So while this is getting deployed, I'm just going to pause the video. So the web app was created successfully. You can see that we got the green check mark and actually you can go and cross check. So if I go onto my portal and go under my resource group, I should be able to see that uh, app service as well as the app service plan. So here we go. We have our app service plan as well as my web app. That was the app that we deployed. And uh, by default, it creates a default domain name. But if you want, you can always add your customized domain and you can also give access to specific users who can access this application. But let me just go and open this up and accept the configuration. And you can see, you can always customize this interface. We got a clean interface over here. And now let's give the same prompts that we gave last time. So let's say hello. And uh, we want to know about the tourism. Right, it's a popular tourist destination. Obviously, this is the information we got last time. And actually, where it is getting all this information from, what is the reference point? This is the data that we uh, loaded to the blob storage. It's referring all this and we're going uh, giving prompts so rather than going through this whole document 
uh, we can just give uh, prompts in that uh, interface and get the information. So let me also type in which month is best to visit India. Okay, so you can see we're gathering all this information. So with this, we have uh, successfully integrated our custom data with Azure AI services. And you also saw that we created a web application and integrated a chatbot in it. Hopefully this lab was useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.